All right, you guys, as promised, I am going to be doing a video uh, on cleaning my jewelry using this Megasonic Ultrasonic Jewelry Cleaner. So I just did my jewelry <laughs> undrying and I put some of the pieces over there and I said, oh, some of these pieces really need to be cleaned, specifically this piece right here and I was like let's just try it in the ultrasonic and make an entire video of how to clean using your ultrasonic cleaner so if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Rachel aka Lilyworks and I do a lot of jewelry reselling on this channel um, you might see that I ha took my ring off so I have an indent right there because I wanted to see if I can actually clean this ring as well so um, yeah, this is going to be a video of the how to use the Megasonic jewelry cleaner. You can also use it for glasses. It's professional grade is what it says. And I have some costume pieces and then my real gold and diamond ring right here. But as a jewelry reseller, um, I do use this quite often and it is very easy to use. So let me show you some of the pieces that I'm going to be cleaning an up close um, view of the pieces just so you can see what we're working with. All right, so let me show you some of these vintage pieces that we have. This is a higher end um, costume jewelry piece, most likely just gold plated. This one's not marked, but it's like of the quality of like a Monet or Trifari. This is a vintage Anne Klein. This one has coated faux pearl on it. So you do not want to put genuine pearls or any type of stone that are porous, like opals, lava rock, um, pearls in the ultrasonic cleaner. You also don't want to use piece or put pieces in that are have rhinestones in it unless it's like an open back rhinestone because once water gets behind a vintage rhinestone piece, um, it could start to disintegrate the foil that's behind the vintage piece. So we have these pieces here. These are lovely glass raspberries, but you can see there's the verdigris right there. Extremely dirty. This one is um, really dirty just in general. So we're going to see how that works. I have a gold filled piece, some clip on earrings, more clip on earrings. This is the Trifari with the verdigris. And then this piece right here um, has a lot of intricate pieces. So you can see right in there is where stuff gets stuck quite often. And then up underneath the diamond itself. So we're going to see how that turns out. I, this, you do not need, um, you do not need to buy this jewelry cleaner. You can just use water or to make it a little bit more efficient. You can use just a drop of dish soap in with your water. You can see here that there is a max fill line and then here is the basket for easy cleaning. So let's get started. I'm going to put in the costume jewelry pieces without verdigree in first. So I'm putting in the costume jewelry pieces right here and I'm going to leave some of the pieces out. I'm going to put in this ring here. This one is not my wedding ring. But, and I don't think it's sterling silver either, but I can't read the mark. It's very, very, very dirty. So we're going to see how that one works. This one is my gold wedding ring. We have some um, clip-ons. These, This does have plastic right here. If this, if this plastic was like really, really hard, I would just pop that out before putting it into the water. But there we go. This pops right in there. I have my water right here. And I am just going to put in a tiny, tiny little bit. So just enough to fill. There is a max water line in there, but honestly you just need enough to um, cover your jewelry pieces because what happens is it vibrates just a little bit in there. I'm putting a little bit of cleaner in and it is so easy. All right, so just a tiny bit, and then all you do is close it. It shows 180 right here. That's literally just the seconds, and there you go. It, all it does is count down the seconds. It's vibrating in there. You can actually 
um, see it in there so I can show you. Open it and it's just like vibrating the jewelry pieces in there. You can actually move it around a little bit. It'll be totally fine. But all it's doing is like loosening up the dirt and dust that is on there. A little bit noisy, but not too bad. So while we're waiting um, on those pieces, I do want to see if I can rescue this piece. I have not put pieces with verdigris in it. I wanted to test it out. I might do this piece first and then do that those pieces next because I really do want to rescue those pieces. Um, this piece I'm not super worried about. It is just Trifari, not Crown Trifari, but I'm thinking like a 1970s thick unisex chain. And then this Vera Degree can spread so you don't, when you see this green like oxidation green gunk on jewelry, you want to be, be sure to <laughs> clean it before it spreads or just throw away pieces that are in the lot um, that you're not going to sell or keep because you just don't want it to spread to other pieces. Usually what neutralizes this growth is vinegar and um, if this doesn't like loosen up and like leave, I just can use like vinegar or ketchup. Ketchup works really well because there's a high acid vinegar content in there and you just rub it. Now what can happen is under the verdigris, under the green verdigris, it might be um, like a darker color underneath because it has eaten away a little bit at the metal. But we're going to see how this works after, uh, after cleaning it. And then also another thing I recommend, this is my old and crusty soft brush toothbrush, soft bristle toothbrush. So I use that as well when cleaning and then when I pop it out of here, most of the time I will just do a little soft brush. So some of the other pieces I have here that you can put in, besides like eyeglasses, you can put in like metal hair barrettes. I got these Cloisonne hair barrettes that are a little dingy and honestly like sometimes you just can get like a whole handful of jewelry like these pieces. I wouldn't do wood in there. but. Um, sometimes you just have a bunch of pieces. This actually, I think, is on a string, like a, a uh, like made out of thread. So this might take a while to dry. Um, but sometimes you just might have a handful of stuff, and you don't want to clean it individually. So that's when this comes in really handy. And you guys can see it's already done. So I'm going to pop out these pieces, and we're going to see how. It has cleaned, so I'm just going to set them right here on my paper towel. You can see it, there's a little bit of bubbles on there from the liquid that we put in. Oh, this actually looks a lot shinier, right? Just right here. I still see a little bit of darkening, and that could be from the verdigree. We have the clip on earrings. Just pull all of these out, set them over here, and I think that's all. Okay, so let's start with the dirtiest one. Do you guys see this one was the dirtiest one right here? I'm wondering if we can actually read it now. So I see a size 8, that was the sizing. And then it says the NRQ. I can actually read it. I think this is an Avon piece, so not sterling silver or anything. And it looks like a an engagement band. So to finish this up, I might use the soft bristle brush and clean that. Let's look at the other ring, my actual wedding ring. And you can use um, you can use this pretty often. Is it still in here? Yes, it is. Um, you can use this pretty often, so let's see how it looks. Definitely looks a lot sparklier, a lot, lot, lot sparklier. I do see a little bit of stuff right in these little cracks still, but I can use the soft bristle brush just to get that out. 
but overall this the sparkle is a lot sparkly er <laughs> a lot sparklier all right for this piece this vintage plastic piece I still see a little bit of dirt or discoloration and it actually is very like stuck on but I'm sure I can get that off using paper towel and the brush these look a lot shinier clean and these are also clean now for the next person to wear um, these look a lot healthier I should say there is some gold tone loss but overall they look nice and clean and wearable this let's check the faux pearls and none of the faux pearl has come off the, that coating on there so that is awesome this is the vintage and Klein piece and it's just shiny so I think all this one would need is just to rub it down with the paper towel we have this the gold filled looks nice shiny clean and then this piece here had some dark spots that I wanted to see if the Sonic would take care of I mean it's not terrible like I see I see a piece right here and I see some right there all right so I'm gonna set this up and and because the water is like not dirty at all I am going to try the chain the trifari chain so I'm gonna throw that in there there we go oh my gosh it's already like look it's already clouding up the water ridiculous okay so let's see how it does there we go all right so while that's going I'm going to take my brush this is still a little bit wet and see if that comes off at all or if it's just going to be discolored like that. Looks like this might stay discolored from, there might have been verdigree there at one time. Um, I mean, not terrible though. So this is still going to be a sellable piece just by how awesome it actually looks. And then I would just do a wipe down with the front and the back with that one. This needs a little bit more work. I'm not even sure if I would sell this unless it's an actual like marked piece, Monet. But I did want to see if the ultrasonic cleaner could get it off the plastic. Um, so it looks like I might actually need to like scratch it. And then it comes off. Yeah, so there we go. And then it's on this side too. But other than that, looks it looks a okay. Might even put that in my antique booth. This one just looks nice. It's silver and gold tone. It looks so much better, shinier this I don't think I need to do anything sometimes if there's like lines like crevices in the clip-on back you might need to just scrub that a little bit and then this ring I just take my brush and just poke through a little bit to get all the little filigree work but um so the ultrasonic cleaner is just really safe and gentle to use and it, you don't have to use any harsh chemicals at all. You can literally just use water or dish soap. So that's what's really nice about it. This particular model is um, only I think $39.99 or somewhere around that area on Amazon. I will have the link down below. Usually everything that I use is in, linked in the description of my videos. But there's my ring now, so sparkly and clean, yay. Um, and what else? I think, I think I'm just excited to see what comes out of here. I'm gonna give it its own 
spot on this little paper towel here. All right, you guys ready? Oh gosh, the water is literally green. <laughs> okay. Should I just keep it in here? And kind of brush it while, while it's in here? Well, let's see how, how sparkly it is. Okay. So I'm not seeing any green right now, so that's a good sign. All right, so let's turn the camera down. Let's take a look. I see a tiny, tiny bit right there. Um, and we can see the Trifari now, right? Wow, that really did a great job. And this is where you can see that the verdigris was very thick and it ate away like the top layer of silver tone, but that is pretty awesome. We're right, even right here, right there. So this one might not be worth, might not be ready to save. I don't know. I'll, I'll brush it and look at it from afar, but yeah. And if I was brushing this with vinegar just like this you would see streaks of the green verdigris right on the paper towel so i'm actually pretty impressed with that all right well so i'm kind of like hopeful let's put in the berries into the water it goes uh set i just press the set button then i press on and then it goes for 180 seconds. There we go. There is this piece. Wow. I think this is can be sellable even though um, it has a little bit of wear but I can just disclose it and this is a heavy thick chain and it still has some life left in it so yay all right but I'm pretty pleasantly surprised with the zero degree I did know that like just throwing in regular everyday jewelry like this just you know putting it all in there and then it cleans it I knew that that worked well, but I'm, I'm very um, interested. So yeah, this one also looks very shiny. Specifically, the clasp looks really nice. Three, two, one. Okay, we see them in there. I can actually just take the basket out so I don't have to try to fish them out with the toothbrush. My nails were longer. Here we go. Oh. A new paper towel here. Let's take a look. So. We do still see the green verdigris on it, but it is much less, especially on that side right there. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, it's like virtually gone on this one almost completely. And then there's this one. I'm wondering if I just brushed it and ran it through again, what would happen? Because this was like very, very, very thick. Is it, is it like just like discolored or is this, hmm, it's like not even like brushing away. <laughs> Let's see if it comes off, huh? It's like not even brushing onto the paper towel. I'm wondering if this was maybe a paint or something like for the leaves like maybe it was a green paint behind it um, 
I don't know. I'm going to try putting it in one more time and then show you guys what that looks like. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the Lilyworks Jewelry channel, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It is the Lilyworks Reseller channel. I also have another channel where I talk about hard goods in my antique booth and um, shop with me and things like that. So that one's called Lilyworks antiques and collectibles and yeah definitely go ahead and check out that channel as well that one is the new channel that I am trying to grow and so yeah I will see you guys in my next video soon bye guys okay so I did run it through one more time and it looked the same and then I started using the paper towel to scratch it. And you, as you can see, it's like almost like waxy verdigris. So this is very, very hard to get off. And it's actually not eating away at the metal underneath, which is great. But this is just a very, very stubborn verdigris. So, um, yeah. So overall, I'm pretty happy with my ultrasonic cleaner. Go ahead, go forward <laughs> and trust that it will work for you. Um, definitely works for me. A huge shout out to all the Patreon members for supporting both YouTube channels and our Lilyworks Facebook community. Come on over to our new selling platform called district.net. We have two stores. One is called Lilyworks Antiques and Collectibles. The other is Lilyworks Jewels and Lots. Become a member. You can also become a seller. Also, if you're interested in anything you see from this video or reseller merch, go ahead and head over to lilyworksreseller.com where you can find different collections for sale. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!